My name is Steve and welcome to my shop. This video is going to be part two of the maintenance series that I started on my Atlas 10F lathe with the quick change threading gears. I know it's been a while but I've had a lot of other projects and I've been videoing them. In this video I'm going to take the gear train apart on the headstock, clean that up, relubricate it, reinstall it, and I'll also be doing some other lubrication on the headstock. So let's go over to the lathe and get started. Using uh, mineral spirits, this is a, actually a combination of a lot of different type of material. There's mineral spirits, there's kerosene in here, and it's mixed with a product called Super Concentrate Gunk it's SC series, and it's a cleaner that gets dissolved in, in a mineral spirits type. You can use it kerosene, you can use it free uh, fuel oil. And it's been in here for years. When I first got this cleaning tank, I tried to use a water-based solvent in it, but I didn't use it enough. And so when I take it out of storage and go to use it, it was all full of mold. So, this works better. It uh, does evaporate a little bit, but I actually keep it stored outside in a storage uh, locker, storage shed, for a couple of reasons. One, for fire I don't want it in the in the shop. It stinks. It smells like cleaning solvent all the time. And I just don't have really have the space for it. So I just break it out of the storage locker when I need it. I've got all my gears and attaching hardware cleaned up and ready to go back together. I'm going to put the sub assemblies together first. I'm oil it. I'm using a 30 weight non detergent motor oil. Okay, that's that sub assembly. That's the reverse tumbler. And 
this is the uh, the high low gear for the threading. It's actually got a a, brown, a brass bushing in it. Okay, I'm going to move the camera over to the lathe and we'll start putting the gears back on it. Do the best I can. It's pretty tight over there. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get that in there, get the camera in or not. We'll give it a try. As a set screw, tighten up that collar. These are the tapered roller bearings on this headstock. So I tightened it up and then just backed it off just a bit. Just, uh, just set my preload on them. Uh, set the Tighten up the set screw, a little extra oil in the cups, This set of gears engages the quick change gears. Oil that up. I'm going to take and put all the gears in place first and then I'll come back and set the spacing. This gear slides in and out on the 
to set up the high and the low range going into the uh, quick change gearbox. I said I'll I'll tighten up all these gears and set the backlash once I get everything in place. Now this is the tumbler gear setup. Now on most the Atlas lathes, this has a detent on it. For some reason on this lathe it's got a uh, Okay, this reverses the direction of the feed. Now, I found that there are set screws in here, or supposed to be set screws in here to set the clearance on this in there. So I'm going to replace them. This was one thing that was a pain because you have to adjust this and I had to readjust the, the gear spacing every time I did it and it makes a big difference on how noisy or quiet this is. This banjo arrangement here goes up and engages with that gear or if you pull it out it engages in the outer gear and that's the high and the low setup. For normal operations this gear is in the out position which is where I'm going to snug this up right now. Let's say I still need to uh, set up the spacing on all these gears. Alright, I get set up to set the uh, spacing on the gears. Yeah, the rule of thumb has been on setting these gears that you set the clearance to the thickness of a piece of paper. And so I put a piece of paper in there and I snugged up the gears. Wind that out of there. Okay. Now the rest of these gears change. You have to set it up every time you change over. So I'm going to set it up initially here. This is with the gear out. I've got that snugged up. Now, I'm going to move the banjo up into place. I'll put my paper in there. There we go. Tighten that up. That one's a little too tight. I'll 
loosen that up a little bit. Oh, that's fine there, but it's too tight here. Tightened up when I tighten up the screw. There we go. There we go. These gears are set. adjusted the set screw that's good and now snug that one up Feels like it's about right. Okay, I'm going to plug the lathe back in. And see what they sound like. Something's too tight. Let's try that one. That sounds pretty good. Let me see if I got it going in the right direction. Okay, I've got it going in the right direction. I'm going to take, I'm going to unplug it again. So I'm going to be playing around with these gears. Something still feels too tight. So the, the paper is a rule of thumb. And sometimes you got to go by feel. That feels better. Plug it back in. There we go. Sounds much better. I think this gear is still a little tight. Let's See what that sounds like. There we go. Now I'm going to put a little bit of lubricant on the gears themselves. I have a product that's made for um, open gears and chains. It's a little sticky so that it doesn't throw off the gears. And I'm going to dig that out and put it on. The lubricant that I'm using, I'm not even going to show it because I don't think it's available anymore. But it's a high viscosity synthetic lubricant. It was actually made for bicycle chains and bicycle gears and so on. And I've got a, a large quantity of it. It works out good for this. But any of your open gear lubricants would work fine. Nice and quiet. Beautiful quiet. Put a little bit more down here. I don't want to put too much on it. Well, 
well, that's going to wrap up this video, uh, part two, on the maintenance of my Atlas lathe. I hope you find this information useful. And in part three, which will be coming in the not too distant future, I'm going to take apart the uh, jack shaft and clean, lubricate that, and do some maintenance on it. I'm going to make a small modification on it. So make sure you come back and see what we do. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed what you see and leave a comment. See you in the next video.